What are the main security and compliance benefits of browser-based workplaces, and how do we make sure that we can uh, scale that solution effectively? The way that um, that I think about the browser is it is it is, it is the modern way to, to interface with applications. Um, now, what you might have heard is that um, hackers don't break in, they now log in. So they start at identity, go down to an application that isn't host, that is hosted somewhere else because it's software as a service, and then maybe they move across to another application because your organization has connected two applications together that you don't know about, goes back up, maybe, maybe gets another identity and then moves across the organization that way. So all of that stuff that happens in the browser, we don't see it on the devices and with our existing security tooling. So it's kind of, it's changed the way that we have to approach security and the kind of tooling and the approaches that we need to take to get that visibility of what the attackers are up to. When like, uh, a malicious actor breaks into your network, Sometimes it, they all seek to download their own tools, but sometimes all the tools they need are already existing on your network. They're already there, so they'll just reuse your, you know, your management tools to actually cause further you know, damage and mayhem in your environment. And actually one of the things maybe when you think about the browser and maybe things like you know, zero trust networking, you kind of make it a desert, so it's much more difficult for them to move sideways, much more difficult for them to gain access to the tools. What kind of concerns do you have about AI-driven threats? You used to have the a defender's dilemma, is that right? And maybe you can unpack that. A defender has to be right all the time. If you make one mistake, someone gets into your network. And an attacker only has to be right once. And they're in your network. With AI, we think hopefully over time we'll kind of flip that on its head. And I'll explain why. So. <clears throat> If I'm a malicious actor and I'm seeking to attack your organisation, I'm after your data, but I also need the context. I need to understand, okay, which data matters to you and which data doesn't matter to you. And I also need information. I need information about okay, how are your systems configured. And I'll do some reconnaissance and I'll do some initial probing to try to get that information. But actually, as a defender, I've got that information. I know where the data is. I know where the context, I know what matters to me and I know how my systems are configured. So actually, if I can use AI to tighten my defences, I can use much, move much more quickly than the malicious actor. And one of the things we're doing is, you know, you can use AI to detect vulnerabilities or to, you know, to detect weaknesses in your configuration before a you know, malicious actor does. How are you using AI to enhance um, browser security? My go-to is a tool is just a tool. It will never solve the whole problem for you. We've got these operational processes of understand your context, understand your attack surface, understand, understand detection, attack detection response. We've got this emerging challenge around agentic AI where um, the agents are going to start forming their own connections and start talking to each other uh, based on the mission and the objective that they've been set. So how do we how do we develop that idea of context and what's important and what's normal in that world, and then and then work through, well actually, this does look like a misconfiguration or this does look like the, the agent stepped outside of its guardrails and therefore we need to go and kind of do the, um, the attack surface management piece or it looks like there's a malicious actor or there's some sort of malicious agent in there and therefore we've got to run instant response. So it's, it's thinking about it as an operational process rather than necessarily a tool that's going to do any one of those three things.